one oceanfront walk. Yeah, baby, we are back. Bump that, bump that. Bump that, bump that. <laughs> yeah, baby. Ooh, I love that. I don't know, you know, I, I think I feel it coming on. I think I feel a, a name that rap song coming on, baby. We're going to do that name that rap song one more again. This will be the last time I do the name that rap song. If nobody calls in and names it for a free OG Sports Show t-shirt or hat, guess what? I'm going to tell you what it is. But we're going to do it, baby, because we do it. Bump that, bump that. Bump that, bump that. All right, baby, we're going to do the name that rap song on the original sports show. Y'all ready? All right, here we go. It's going, it's about to go down. Yeah. <clears throat> no more endo, gin, and juice. I'm on my way to Chino, rolling in the gray goose. Shackle from head to toe. 25 with an Izzel, with nowhere to gizzo. I know the brothers from the other side recognize my face because it's the OG, D O double G, L B C. Mad dog and brothers, cause I don't care. Red jumpsuit with two braids in my hair. Brothers stare as I enter the center. They take me to a level three yard, that's where I stay. Late night, I hear toothbrushes scraping on the floor. Brothers getting their shanks, just in case the war pops off. But you can't tell what's next. My little homie, baby boo, took a pencil in his neck. And he probably won't make it to C22. I put that on my mama. I'ma ride for you, baby boo. Brah! <laughs> Yeah, we keep it OG, baby. We keep it hardcore. Hardcore. Hardcore sports talk over here, baby. <laughs> Name that rap song. Name that rap song. Call yourself OG. You should know that off the top of your head, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's get back into this segment. Let's get back into some sports life and love. So many things going on. So many things going on. And why does it? Why is everyone so infatuated with Tim Tebow? Can somebody tell me? He's a second-string quarterback. <laughs> this guy and I know he's Jesus's first cousin it's all good I don't have a problem with that you know I understand I get it I get it but what I'm wondering is the NFL Network did this top 10 things we love about Tim Tebow or something like that <clears throat> similar to that last night and I'm watching it and they're showing you know all these moments and he did have some spectacular moments you know, the guy, you know, he he overcame and adapted, you know, like a Marine does in, in, in combat or in anything else in life. You got to overcome and adapt, you know, get th things get thrown at you. You you overcome and adapt. You make it happen. And he did it with the Denver Broncos last year. But here he is in New York. He's a second string quarterback. And uh, what makes him so polarizing is that we pay so much attention to him. I do believe that he'd be a better preacher than a politician or football player, but everybody seems to already, you know, have this guy running for president. And I don't have a problem with that. You know, we've had left-handed presidents before. We have a left-handed president right now in President Barack Obama, you know. But Tim Tebow, what what is it about him? <clears throat> he's just, I mean, he's just appealing to the Jesus freaks left and right and then, you know, the regular, you know, normal what are, not normal, but, you know, the other people, you know, he just, you know, Matt says he's dreamy. Is that what it is? Is he a good look? See, I'm a guy. All guys in my perspective are ugly, hairy animals. I've never seen a good looking man in my life. There's no, but Matt says he's dreamy. I guess he's dreamy according to, to, you know, to people that think men are handsome and stuff. But I've never seen a good looking man in my life. You guys are all hairy, ugly beasts to me. There's no attraction, you know, to any type of man in my book. You know, that's what women are put on earth for, to be dreamy and beautiful and hugged and kissed and loved and all that good stuff. You know, you, you, we talk about women shamelessly on here. Go to OGSportsShow.com right now and then check out the front page and you'll see how much we love women. Because there's an OG hottie on the front page every week. We keeps it hot. We keeps it hype. And we keeps it OG, baby. Oh! Blah. I love that. But Tim Tebow, this guy, everybody just wants to talk about. I could talk about Tim Tebow this whole segment, and he will not play down tomorrow. He will not play one down. Oh, oh, wait, they'll line him up in the flex or something like that and put him on the field because Rex Ryan's all about 
you know, being entertaining. He's in New York. The guy's a smart coach. And what about Rex Ryan? Looking all skinny, losing weight. Look at you, Rex. All skinny, smiling, getting knocked down and getting back up, talking smack. I like you, man. I like Rex. He's a player's coach. And did you hear Joe McKnight, the former running back out of USC, former USC running back, now a current New York Jets running back, might be playing corner tomorrow because Reeves is out with a concussion. I like Joe McKnight, but if you line up at corner tomorrow, they're going to pick your ass apart. <laughs> you guys will lose if Joe McKnight lines up at corner tomorrow. That's all I got to say. And hey, we will be back on the original sports show, baby. You're listening to the big OG, Leopold Jeans, on the original sports show, baby. Ha 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 We'll be back. Hi, folks. I want to tell you about.